This is the Tour of California, nine years old and dubbed America's greatest race by the organizers. The race is a week long, and as it grows, the biggest names of the peloton face an increasingly difficult choice between California and the Giro. They may be without their team buses, but it's May in California, so no one's going to complain about the weather. We're here in front of the State Capitol building with Neil Rogers, editor of Velo News. Neil, what are your memories of the Amgen Tour of California? Yeah, I've been, I've been coming to this race since it started in 2006. Uh, a lot of great memories, a uh, few really stand out. Uh, one was a, a, a stage from Monterey down to Pismo Beach along the Big Sur coast. I think it was 236 kilometer stage. It took them almost eight hours. Uh, I just remember being in the car that day driving down the coast at one point trying to open the door to get out of the car and the wind slammed it shut and it was then that I realized just what the riders were going through. Uh, another memory that stands out was the Levi rule in Santa Rosa when a massive crash on the closing circuits uh, took out everybody except a few guys in the front of the race. Ben Jacques Main uh, had at that point been second on the prologue in, in uh, San Francisco at Court Tower and should have taken the race lead. However, the commissars decided to neutralize the race from the crash, meaning that Levi Leipheimer kept the race lead. Levi's from Santa Rosa, and there was a big controversy about that, and everybody started to call it the Levi rule. All right, Ben Jacques Main, you're one, I believe, believe one of two people who have done all nine editions of the Amgen Tour of California. You have a lot of memories of this race. What stands out is perhaps the one or two most poignant memories of the Amgen Tour. I mean, I've got so many memories of this entire race, the history of it. We, I almost was leading the Tour of California. Uh, unfortunately, Levi Rule took that off of me. Um, it, you know, riding in the hail and the breakaways into Santa Cruz, uh, it's all happened to Tour of California. So, and having gone through it all, you know, it, it's uh, it's defining as a cyclist to be part of this. I think uh, most people remember that day because it was it was just so cold. It was 236k and. It was all the way up the coast and probably would have been one of the most beautiful rides had it the weather been good. Um, but I just remember it just being driving rain, cold conditions, and I think there was 20 odd riders in the break and by the end there was two and it was a um, Canadian guy who went to Savello and uh, George. So, uh, and guys were literally retiring from the breakaway from the race, which was quite something. In all the tours of California, is there one memory that stands out above all the others for you? Well, uh, yes, my first stage win, because I was on a break, got caught on the top of the climb from Levi and the other climbers, and I was just hanging on to them because they were so much better and faster on the climb, but I only had 500 meters to go. So I just made over the climb, and as soon as we hit the top of the climb, it was 20 kilometers, 10 downhill, 10 flat, and exactly at the QM, I was with them, I'm like, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, because I didn't have to work, I had you know, my leaders behind, I said, look boys, I, I don't work anymore and it was 20 k ago I was so sure I'm gonna win so I had plenty of time to enjoy the feeling that I'm actually gonna win and yes I did win that day so that was uh, one of my best days here.